So, we're on the road to Murfield Miniatures in, well, Murfield of all places, to take part in a £10 Kill Team Challenge. I've got my man Mickers doing the shooting, Hector on health and safety, and a crisp tenner in my pocket ready for the spending. I've never heard of Murfield before, but to me it looks like every other northern town that I've never heard of. Uh, raining, grey, miserable, but definitely somewhere that I can score me a cheap full English. This is quite a big moment for me, not just as a YouTube content creator and meeting one of my idols for the first time in a collaborative project, but also meeting up with folks in the Warhammer hobby and doing something as a group for the first time in the hobby, on this scale, for about 18 months. With COVID hitting and being so busy with the channel and other work, it feels so good to get out and meet some of the friends that I've made through YouTube for the first time. And of course, doing a bit of shopping. Apart from shopping, what are we doing here and what's involved in today's challenge? Let's hear it from the most unprepared man in the room himself. Right, so we've got a tenner. Only a tenner. Only a tenner. I'm Only not going to cheat this time. <laughs> and we've got to find a, a legal kill team. Legal kill team. Yeah. So if you have to buy bits mm -hmm. and then they like root for bits mm -hmm. to make the models happen. Cool. That's what we'll do. You can custom kit bash, you can do it you want. Cool. But it's got to be under a tenner. Luke. <laughs> No, last time you didn't really stick to the rules. Are you going to stick to it this time? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, not cheap. <laughs> You're going to have ten pounds worth of stuff when we walk out of here. Yes. That's not happening. No. I will have ten pounds worth of stuff. At just, least ten pounds. Just, worth of stuff. No, just, yeah. <laughs> so once we've got our kill teams, what are we going to do with them? We're going to paint them. Nice. If you can buy them painted, then you don't have to do it for a few hours when we get oh, back. Oh, fuck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I just think if we can get it all in for under a tenner, mm -hmm. first, first come, first serve. That's cool. fine. You, no just, fighting. Just, just no fisticuffs and we'll be alright. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Interesting. On, you go. I'm you go. <laughs> so, we are here at Murfield Miniatures finally. The challenge has been laid out. £10 for a kill team, £10 or less. If you can get a bit of terrain, that's a bonus. We're going to paint them up at Luke's and hopefully base them with his range because that's nice and easy. I'm looking to spend not much time on it. Yeah, and this place is absolutely fucking awesome. He's exclusively a second-hand stockist of Warhammer and miniatures in general. Wonderful to see so much plastic getting recycled and not just more, more, more. It's refreshing to have a perspective that isn't focused on new release, new release every single weekend. And I've only seen like five Space Marine Lieutenants, which is great because I'm pretty sure five come out a week. Obviously you can see some of the stuff is pre-painted, which is also great for guys like me. I mean, I do love painting, but also to be able to just pick something off the shelf and maybe just finish it with a wash and a dry brush is so satisfying. And we got to talk about these prices. Everything is 50% RRP, which obviously that means 100 quid model is a 50 quid model. Hence these nights up here. That are speaking to me, real speaking to me. There's more of a tailored selection, there's less of a push on sales. I haven't been pressured to buy things once here. In fact, the guy's almost been reluctant to take my money, which is less intense of a shopping experience. And I'm I'm all migraine and painkillered up right now, so I am fucked. I am susceptible to buying a lot of bad things. So I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's go. Hector needs a new army, baby's first army. Once I finally unlocked the door, the boys got a little bit scrappy. Luke's played his cards fairly early and I can see he's going to go for some Tyranids so he can throw some contrast paint on and put his feet up, nice try. Josh kept disappearing so I suspect shenanigans, but the one to watch out for is Senor Benjamin. He's quiet, calculating and my mum always said, never trust a man in a yellow t-shirt. So I'm watching you Benjito. I have located the towel which is convenient because in my bag my magic bag i have a paintbrush a wet palette which i'm not going to need a tin of primer and an enamel wash with a towel kill team and a paint scheme in mind it was time to get the edge on luke in the last challenge he cheated pretty hard but in this challenge i'm going to cheat a whole lot fucking harder you won't be smiling when this is over sweetheart Thank you. 
with additional assets secure and my kill team plan of attack in place, I'm going to let loose and see a man about a new army that I want to collect. There is so much choice here and even more unsorted and uncatalogued stuff and mountains of bits boxes to get your trotters into and make some mad creations if you so choose. As Mark kept bringing stuff out, my self control began to wane big time and I got digging into the boxes. Many, many, many bad decisions are about to be made. Yeah, yeah, but you know, 10 pound kill team challenge, that went out the window as soon as I saw paperweight pteranids, you know what I mean? People come into your house, fucking yeah. Forget the samurai sword by the bed, forget the kitchen knives, just cave the skulls in with the carnifex. And it's all legal because it's toys, it's not a weapon. I'm trying to see out of all these different metal bits if I can put a single model together. Well, I don't even know what the finished products are supposed to look like. We'll see what imagination can bring us. There's a leg. That's lovely. That's some legs. Just need to find a groin. 50 quid a piece. Start an entire army that is just three models. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Three Imperial Knights for kill team. They will kill a team yeah. if, if required, <laughs> yes. Let's head over here with Benji. And this is, this is what we're thinking. So you get three of these guys and you've basically got a 2,000 point army. Now, you guys know I'm fucking stupid. So the less things I have to think about, the better. And it would be nice for once to not play a 500 point game, which is what I normally do. A command of two squads, that's kind of my mental capacity. So three big things that are also cheesy and normally win. I think I can go for that. I think I can do that. Oh, the, the, the walking church. The walking church. Uh, I'm not really a fan of 40k gothic wankery, so maybe not. Well, the, the thing is, this is the most 40k model ever because it's got a mausoleum on top, but it has two guns on its shoulder pads, and then there's two statues on each gun, yeah. so. Ergonomic. That's not the... That's not the right that's word. That's not the right word, is it? No, unergonomic is the right word, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe his shoulder pads should be <laughs> two drop pods. And then we're getting into Space Godzilla territory. With all my bad decisions made, it is time to pay up. Overall price for my kill team was £9, which is on target. A load of Fire Warriors and an old Metal Ethereal. Outside of the challenge, I bought two Metal Hive Tyrants, some extra wings for them, a couple of Stormcast characters to kitbash into 40k models, a box of Termagants, too many Termagants, two Knights, two Armagers, a Space Marine attack bike, a unit of Classic Marines, and a total price of £200 cash. Spot on. But Luke decided to try and push my Lizardman button, knowing that I love Lizardmen, and take a punt on an affordable full army that they had there. They've got fuck all on Pat Butcher though. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking buying it now, am I? <laughs> <laughs> fucking bell rack. <laughs> yeah, damn, buy some Lizardmen, they're fucked. <laughs> I left Murfield Miniatures with nothing but good things to say about it. Amazing customer service, Mark had an answer to every request that I had, pulling stuff out of storage, pricing on the spot with fair numbers. And I dig the vibe of the place, gaming tables, community focused, a lot of passion behind the business. If you can make the trip and visit the place, it is places like this that remind me of how great the hobby can be. And I shall definitely be back. We've headed back to Luke's gaff to get our teams painted up in the next couple of hours, and as you can see, he is thrilled to have us. There's a selection of paints I've never used before, Army Painter Airbrush and the Pro Acryl line. And of course, there's dogs. Little fuzzy dudes. The perfect distraction <laughs> to make sure MS Paints doesn't get his models finished on time. So, my plan is to prime these guys grey, hit them with an overall diluted contrast paint to shade them, and dry brush them back up to white. And if I'm being honest, I didn't really give a fuck about painting at this stage, and even less of a fuck about filming the process as you can see. It's been so long since I sat and painted with other people, and the chilled buzz was great to just experience that again. Painting in a communal space is a wonderful vibe. That, and I also had a fucking thumping migraine, but that's nothing new. 
It was great to try out the Pro Acryl line and I'll be pestering them for some free shit in the near future because the coverage on these paints is absolutely dynamite. If nothing else, I suggest you try out the white and yellow for reasons obvious to anyone who's tried blocking out with those colors before. And we got them done. Two hours, primed, painted, and they look all right for gaming and based with the Geek Gaming Scenic Space Ready range. Will I display them on the mantelpiece where the cat can destroy them? Probably not, uh, but will I play them with Kill Team? Yes, absolutely. Now, if you're not subscribed or you're new here, MS Paints has some big shit coming up in the next few months. Board builds, quick tricks, loads of hobby content. So hit that subscribe to stay alive. Cheers, I'm out of here. Nothing, mate, nothing, no, nothing, nothing devious, no nothing. You're just hanging out with health and safety for Yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not up to nothing, mate, just chilling. Just chilling? Just chilling. Nothing on to walk. No. Not stealing nothing? No. No? Fuck off somewhere else. Okay, mate. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs>